Welcome to this quick e-learning session on how to use the Schenectady City School District's Home Access Center. My name is Diane Allegro and I will be your instructor. The Home Access Center provides parents and guardians with the online ability to view helpful student information to support and guard their children through the educational process. From home or work, at any time of day or night, parents can access this web portal to track academic achievement through their student schedules, attendance records, discipline records, classwork, interim reports, report cards, transcripts, and standardized test scores. Email links are also available throughout the portal so parents can communicate with the school and teachers. To create a Home Access Center account, the parent or guardian must complete the access request form found on the district's website you must return it in person to your child's school. If you have more than one child, you only need to complete one form and turn it into just one school. A photo ID is required when you return the form. Once your information is verified and processed, a username and password will be emailed to you. After receiving your username and password, go to the Schenectady City School District website at www.schenectady.org k12.ny.us and click on the Home Access Center link located on the top right hand side of the home page. After clicking on the Home Access Center link you will see this page. Here you will key in your username and password the one that was provided to you by the district. Click on the login button to submit your information. Once the system has logged you in you have the option to change your password if you like. Simply click on My Profile, which is located on the upper right-hand side of the page. That will open the Change Password screen. And here you will key in your old password and your new password. Click on Change to submit the information. You are now in the Home Access Center. The Daily Summary tab is the first page that will appear. It provides a snapshot of what is happening at school for your child on the day in which you entered the Home Access Center. It also provides a breakdown of the student's attendance for the day, his or her schedule based on the cycle day, classwork for the week, and any discipline incidents that occurred during the week. The next tab is the Schedule tab. This provides you with a snapshot of your child's schedule by letter day. In this area, you can click on any teacher's name to launch an email message directly to the teacher. If a teacher has left you a note, a bubble will appear next to the course and section. Simply click on the button to read the note. The attendance tab provides a snapshot of your child's attendance for the month. If a day is color coded, refer to the color legend for an explanation. In this example, I clicked on May 6th, which is an unexcused tardy and color coded turquoise. When I hover over a date, a pop up window appears showing the student's attendance record for that day. To move between months, use the arrows at the top of the calendar as shown. The discipline tab provides a snapshot and explanation of all of your child's discipline records for each year your child attended a school in the district as well as other schools your child may have attended. Click on any incident or incident role hyperlink to see additional details. The classwork tab provides a listing of all the components making up your child's grade. The list can include quizzes, tests, classwork, assignments, homework, and any other project or work that the teacher has defined. This is a good place to check to see if your child is up to date on all the work required for his or her classes. The Interim Progress tab is an online version of the Interim that is mailed home quarterly. The Interim Report provides a progress report on how your child is doing for a particular quarter. It is generally mailed out five weeks after the quarter starts. By clicking on the down arrow key you can select the Interim date that you would like to review. Also notice the comment section and the comment legend located at the bottom of the page. Match the numbers in the comment section to the comment legend for an explanation. The report card tab is set up similar to the interim report tab and provides an online version of the report card that is mailed home quarterly. You can also click on the down arrow key to select the report card quarter that you would like to review. It too has a comment legend located at the bottom of the page. The transcript tab provides a snapshot of each school year's grades including those from other schools. At the bottom of the page are your child's grade point average, GPA, and class rank. The test scores tab provides a listing of all scores for the New York State Regents and other standardized exams. And finally the registration tab. This provides a summary of the student's information provided by the parent or guardian upon registering the child for school. 
please be sure to notify the school immediately if you have an address or phone number change so we can keep these records up to date. Well, that's it. That's all there is to it. I hope you learned how to keep track of your child's school records and will use this information to assist your child in achieving success. Thank you for watching and listening. Should you require additional information, there is a booklet available on our website or stop into your school's office. I'm sure they will be happy to assist you.